Now, American inventors, not academics, built the United States into what it is today. Eli Whitney, Henry Ford, Elon Musk, just some of the great men responsible for industrializing and modernizing human civilization. But American ingenuity is under attack. And Jesse Waters has been unimpressed by the speed with which my life looks like the Jetsons. The Google goggles, not what I had in mind. I always envisioned flying cars, better architecture. Donald Trump has a vision that he's running on. Our objective will be a quantum leap in the American standard of living. We should hold a contest to charter up to 10 new cities and award them to the best proposals for development. Dozens of major companies in the United <laughs> States and China are racing to develop vertical takeoff and landing vehicles for families and individuals. Just as the United States led the automotive revolution in the last century, I want to ensure that America, not China, leads this revolution in air mobility. The American imagination has been dormant far too long. What do we need to do to light a fire under the next generation of thinkers? Former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy knows, and he joins me now. Vivek, I expected flying taxis by now. What is taking us so long? Look, we've lost that spirit of excellence in this country, Jesse. Our culture of excellence, it has left oceans to lift up places like China. And their culture of Maoist victimhood is now holding us back in this country. You think back to our founding, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson. These guys invented things like the Franklin stove, the lightning rod at the top of the home. Benjamin, Thomas Jefferson actually invented the swivel chair. He invented, even the polygraph test was invented by Thomas Jefferson, an early prototype of it. So we need to bring back that founding spirit of curiosity, that we're the, unex the unafraid, the explorers. That's part of what we've lost. I think we can bring that back, but it's going to take a little bit of a generational change to do it. What is it about the psychology of the country that kind of keeps these creative types down and discourages that kind of out-of-the-box thinking? Well, look, you see it even in the classroom right now. It's not cool to be the smartest kid in the class. Tell me it's about it. It's not cool to be the best at anything. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to hide your actual excellence. And so I think one of the things we need to start doing in this country again is celebrating excellence. Excellence is unifying. And I think that that's what America's founded on. We're the pioneers, the unafraid, the explorers, the people who would never be stopped. Even Christopher Columbus, who actually discovered, or in many ways, at least was among those who discovered the United States of America, we have canceled him from history. We need to celebrate people. They may be imperfect. The thing about inventors is they're not often like the people around them. So yes, might they say some things that are a little wrong at times? Yes. But you have to celebrate what they actually achieved. And that's what we need to unlock in this country again. So don't pick on the smart kids in school. That's a start. And uh, how was Mar-a-Lago? I saw some video of you down there. Were you talking to the president about flying taxis? You know, we had a good dinner. I didn't think we got to flying taxis. We had to save something for next time. I will say one thing we need is batteries that can actually charge themselves. That's also something I'll add to my list of inventions for our next chat. All right. Vivek Ramaswamy, thank you so much. Hard being the smartest kid in class. I can hear that. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.